Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you the reason why your Facebook advert may be active but not delivering. There are a lot of reasons why this may be happening. And so in this video, I will give you uh, four reasons why it happens. I'll give you four reasons why your Facebook ad campaign is active but not delivering. Okay, so number one, it could be a payment related problem. So if you want to know whether it's a payment related problem or not, first of all, when you open and go to the ad manager, as you can see on my screen, you go to the three lines on the left, go to billing, and then go to payment settings. Now, you your temporary hold may be unsuccessful. What does that mean? Facebook tries to always uh, test to see whether you have enough money in your uh, your account or your card for the budget for the number of days you want to run. So they, they will not try to hold money for the whole duration, but normally about three days. So for let's say this advert is running at $5 a day. They may try to see whether I have up to $15. Sometimes it could be $12, it could be $10. So if you come to your payment settings and scroll down under payment activity, you may see a failed payment. If there is a failed payment, and you look at the top, you may see um, temporary hold unsuccessful. Try hold again. If that happens, you may see your advert being active, but it will not be running. So the solution to that one is when you see the temporary hold on a sucks unsuccessful, try hold again. Come here, check how much they try to deduct and it is not successful. Put up enough money to and, and click on try hold again. When you do that, it will go and you it will be able to go successfully. And then your advert can run smoothly. Because that one, you may see your advert being active, but it is not delivering and you don't know what exactly is causing the problem it's not even spending the money by just active that is the number one reason why your advert may be active but not delivering okay if it is also on phone you can also go to the ad manager on the phone uh, uh, the ad manager app on phone go to the settings go to payment and you will be able to do exactly what i'm doing here okay then then number two, reason why your advert may be active but not delivering is maybe your, your budget is too small. So let's go to this campaign. So you open your campaign, go to the ad set level, and then check at the, the daily budget. So maybe your budget may be too small. If your budget, for example, for most cases, when you set your budget and you look at the right side, they will normally say something. They may normally say something. Sometimes they may give you a warning that this budget is too small because of the amount you have chosen. The advert may not run. Though in some cases, the warning works. In some cases, they, they may not still warn you, but it may still be the case. In some cases, they may not also warn you Um. In some cases, they may warn you and the, the, the advert still also run. They may warn you, but the advert may still also run. But generally, when you come to a budget and check, let's say your budget is $2 a day or $3 a day. For some type of campaigns, especially if it is related to conversion ad campaigns, you may not get any meaningful results for a $2 or $3 budget. So consider increasing your budget. Maybe you can, if you are, if you were doing $5 and you're not getting any meaningful results, you can increase it to 7 or 8 or $9 or even $10. If you are doing um, $2 and you are not getting anything, you can increase it to $5 and look at how the advert will perform. Okay. So that's the second reason. The third reason is that your audience may be too small. A lot of people can set up an advert and the audience is too small and they don't really know about it. So the advert will not perform if your audience is less than 100,000. In fact, I will advise you that for whatever advert you need to do, make sure that your audience is at least 1 million. 
one million people in that audience. So for example, um, if you come to the audience segment, click on edit, come to the estimated audience size. This audience size, for example, is 3.1 to 3.7 million. If the audience size is too small, sometimes it could be either um, you have um, narrowed the age limit too small or the location. So consider expanding the age limit. For example, this one is 25 to 65 plus. Um, and the location is greater Accra region. So you can consider expanding it. Let's say the location is New York or a certain section of New York. You can expand it to other locations. Let's say the, the location is maybe some small town in some area. Uh, let's say a small city within your country. You can expand it to the whole country. You can add other cities so that it will give you a bigger audience size. So how do you do that? That one you will come to um, under the audience. You go to the location and then you click on search and add more locations. Okay, so when you add it, you update the audience and save it. Then if you want, also want to extend the age limit, you come here and adjust the age limit accordingly. Now, it may also be that you chose terms, but the terms that you choose, the detail targeting terms are too small. So for example, this one, we chose a lot of um, terms, more than 20 terms. If your terms are not that many, come here and remove all the, the terms. So you can come to the, the, the detail targeting section and remove all the terms or you either remove all the terms and just use only the age bracket or you can send you can add more terms so for example this one is a is an advert on digital marketing so you can add a lot of terms to make sure that it covers a lot so for example as you can see here i've chosen something like facebook page admins i've chosen something like food and restaurant page admins i've chosen um something like conversion marketing creative entrepreneurship and business and finance direct marketing so there are a lot of terms i've selected so at the end of the day i'm able to get an audience that has a bigger size so you should get a bigger size for your audience okay so um if you if you increase the all these things that i'm saying it will make your audience bigger okay so that is the third reason why your advert may be active but not delivering the fourth reason why your advert may be active but not delivering is the placement for example we have manual placement and we have automatic placement so under uh, uh, manual placement let's say uh, you are using manual placement and then you selected just some few um, of the platforms under manual placement you can remove this audience network you can remove um facebook you can remove uh, sorry you can uh, you can move audience network and leave facebook and instagram or you can even remove instagram but let's say under facebook the feed if you remove it the results will not be good so for facebook and instagram if you want the ever to run on both facebook and instagram you can leave it but rather remove the audience network and come down to under the feed you can leave the feed facebook feed leave it instagram feed leave it Instagram profile feed, um, you, you 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 leave it. It's also a good uh, platform. Then marketplace is good. Facebook feed, video feed is good. Right column, but right column is not good because normally the advert will appear on some uh, corner on the right hand side, and normally a lot of people don't see. It. Yeah. So all that I'm showing you, you can choose to deselect some of these like reels, Instagram ads, um, all that, but out for facebook feed facebook feed instagram feed facebook video feeds hmm? in fact the number one is facebook feed if you don't know and you don't select facebook feed your advert will not perform well so make sure that you don't make that mistake make sure you don't make that mistake so facebook feed is the number one platform so if your placement is not getting uh um the, if you didn't choose a placement that has enough uh, people on that platform for you for facebook to show your advert to then the advert will not perform well so for example let's say you chose only um facebook video feed it will be too small 
And for those who don't know, let me show you the platforms. This one like this is Facebook feed. What you're seeing here, this is what we call the Facebook feed. It's a Facebook feed. Then we also have the um we also have the Facebook video feed. This is the video feed. So the video feed under the video section, as you're going down, you see we're seeing some advert. So those are the video feeds. When you're going down, you'll be seeing some advert. Then we also have marketplace because I'm not using a mobile phone, you may not see all the, the placement, but we also have um uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, we have marketplace, we have the reels, we have the stories, and all that. All of them are different, different placement that you can choose. But the most important placement is the Facebook feeds. Make sure you never uh, remove that particular one. Okay, so after you are done with that, um, the last one, the last one I'll give it to you as a bonus. In fact, I said four, but I'm adding you this one as a bonus tip. Um, you go to the ad creative. The ad creative may not be appealing. The video may not be good. So make sure that you check you check the ad creative, you check the video. If the video quality is not good, we have um quality ranking, engagement ranking. If the video is not good and it's not engaging many people, Facebook would derank it. They would they will they will not show it to many people. They will automatically uh, reduce the number of people that will see it because the video is not getting a lot of interactions. I believe that if you take time to follow through the steps that I have just outlined, your Facebook is going to see, your Facebook ad is just going to see an improvement. You're going to reach more people. You are going to reach a lot of people. Lastly, before I forget, um, under the or ad set level, there is um something around the budget around the budget let's see if I'm going to show you something okay so under budget and schedule um okay so what i want to talk about is about bidding bidding so some people may decide to bid good good the bidding control always leave it optional because for example let's say i can decide to bid for one dollar per message and maybe my cost per result is um my cost per message maybe it could be per message or per conversation per um conversion or per link click eh? So whatever you are bidding for, when you bid for, let's say, $1 per result, for whatever result you're choosing, it means that you are saying that if it will cost more than $1, Facebook should not actually allow the action to take place. So in that case, what you chose may not be the right bidding control option. So at the end of the day, if Facebook realizes that the amount that you bid is too low, then your advert will not be delivered and you will not be getting results. You will not also be spending the budget. And so it could affect you. So make sure that you don't choose uh, the, uh, what do you call it? Um, the bid control, leave it optional. Uh, if you are an expert who understand the average figure that your bidding will lie around. So that one you can choose a bidding control. If not, I don't advise you to choose it. Okay. So I know and I believe that if you follow all the processes that I've given you, your advert is going to see great uh, performance. And at the end of the day, you will smile that your adverts are doing well. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. Uh, we are into digital marketing. If you really want to, if you want us to help you or set up your ad campaign for you and make sure it delivers well the way you want it, check the links in the description. You can WhatsApp us, you can contact us for us to help you to make sure everything is moving accordingly. Thank you once again, and then have a great day.